you do, I'm empowered. You give me a superpower. Together the world could be ours. Hey, you give me a sun and showers. <laughs> Yo, I know that song. A lot of people are making babies to that song because that song be hit it. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janine and we are back with another get ready with me. So today's look is pretty damn straightforward. <laughs> it's given everything that it needs to give. Okay guys, so if you want to see how I created this look, please go ahead, continue watching. But before you do, go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below, like, share, and leave a comment, okay guys? And I do hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys, welcome to the channel again. We, it's the next day after I just did that. Get ready with me. We're doing another one because we are going out for dinner with the fams. So I decided we're gonna do a little quick beat. Nothing too fancy. I mean, maybe a little fancy, but nothing too fancy. <laughs> We're just going to do something real quick, simple, and easy. So, I know the makeup we did the last Get Ready With Me, that was pretty simple too, because I feel like we did all natural eyes, and I think I'm going to go in that route again. I'm going to do natural eyes. And yeah, so let's get into the video, guys. So to get started, we are going in with one size Patrick Star Matte um, Magnetic Primer. And y'all, this primer is the truth. When I tell you I didn't get back home until like 5 a.m. and my makeup. I did my make what time did we get ready we got i got ready around seven makeup was done by like what time did i get ready yeah i want to say like eight o'clock we did we got ready eight o'clock and makeup was done about nine so nine ten eleven twelve one two three four five so eight hours it's a full work day y'all and i'm telling you my makeup was looking good like it was still popping my lips are popping like I didn't have to do any touch up like grant you I had my little powder brush that I just like you know these area and I did like use a little bit of the milk primer that had a little bit of like dewiness to it so that kind of was giving out a little making my natural or it was probably my natural oils that were coming through so i just like freshened up with the powder my lips i went over like once and i didn't need i didn't have to go over it i was just being extra because i wanted my lips to be like popping mario mwah, chef kiss mwah. like it was it was really good so we are get started. Um, I'm using my color corrector again. Oh, all right. Actually, I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. So let's do that. Let me blend this out first before I go into <laughs> into my eyebrows so that it doesn't dry on. So I'm just gonna blend it out. No, we can. Yeah, I did moisturize. So yeah, I did all my <laughs> for a minute there. I was like. And I moisturized my skin, but I did. I did the same same prep. Um, I used Fenty Skin Concealer, the Fab Water, and moisturizer. So we already prepped the skin, and then I just added the primer to it and color correct. But as I said, I kind of went and off went went off a little too fast, and I needed to come back 
and go do my brows. So I'm looking for my brow pen. So give me one second, y'all. Let me find this brow pen. So I really like it. Where is it? It's my Sephora brow pencil. I have the girls looking looking real good here it is and again this is in chocolate brown we love a good chocolate brown moment so i'm gonna speed through here and do my brows you guys can see how i do my brows um pretty simple nothing nothing extra so we'll go through Okay. I think that's where the girls are gonna be for now. <sighs> I know that's a lot of coffee. I know, but your girl need it. <laughs> Now that we've, we've completed the brows, I'm gonna go back in <clears throat> with Dragon Beauty and Dragon Fire and continue to try to hide these dark spots. And they are just like, <laughs> camera time! They're just all up in my grill. You won't leave me alone. It could be the coffee too. I heard the coffee do make you break out. <laughs> My skin was clearing up and then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, we ain't going anywhere. I'm like, great. <laughs> You're welcome here. Oh my God. Go away, leave my face alone. <laughs> so. And neutralizing the orange a little with a concealer. Um, we're using Golden by Too Faced. Babes. Again. Using the same brush. God, hide those insecurities of ours. We do not want to see them. Um... Get rid of them now, so you can tell you can see we have gotten rid of some of those beautiful. Oh. And now we're gonna go in with foundation. We're using Charlotte Tilbury again. Absolutely love her. Like she's that girl. She goes on a little bit bright. But when, when it's, when she sinks in to your skin, instant orgasm, instant. It's like we were meant for each other, for sure. And I'm using the color 
ain't warm. So, yeah, like, you, if you see the reaction of my last Get Ready With Me, you would see, like, <gasps> I was like, oh, shit, she's not going to be the girl. She's not the girl. She is that girl. She is. She will forever be that girl. So, she's a little on the expensive side, but, you know, I think she was at $45. I have the receipt here, so... I think she was at 45. I'm not kidding if I'm not lying. Um, let me see. Okay. So sponge 12. The lipstick by Mario was $24. And, oh, oh yeah, $44. What did I buy? What was another airbrush thing that I Oh, maybe it was the, so the concealer, the power, hourglass concealer, but this little concealer was 36 the lipstick was 24 oh and this primer $30 she was $30 no no so yeah it's a pr it's a pretty little penny pretty little penny mm, but was it, is it worth it 100% yes very much so very much so worth it so i'm gonna use a a brush any brush like i don't be using oh mac 300 or mac um uh, brush or zephora brush 16. I, I, girl just get you a brush off of amazon that works <laughs> that works too right No, I think I'm going to go in a little foundation brush. You see what I mean, right? Like, you see what I mean? It just doesn't look like it's my color, but once it, you blur it out and you um, blend it into your skin, orgasm. Just instant. My skin eats it up. Yeah. It's the shoot up. So, mm -hmm. and do the skin. The girls love it. Oh. I'm going to do the eyes. As you can see, I haven't done my eyes because we are very basic today. Um, I want to go for, even though it's not looking natural, but I want to go for a very light, subtle makeup look. So, that's what it's given. It's like heavy coverage, but turns out not so much. Like, it doesn't look, I still want to look flawless. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to see my spots or I want to, I want to give like, oh, you got really cute skin that's what i'm giving that's what i want so i'm going in and guys <clears throat> i know you guys can tell my voice is gone yes last night last night we went to the red the red and white um red and white affair it's very much given like a jamaican if you are jamaican and you've been to like a jamaican party one of those not and i'm not talking the little street party that they be having i'm talking like you buy your dress you make sure your hair is done nails done makeup is on point like shoes like your bag everything on point that was that was the kind of the kind of party it's not it's not was it wasn't a club party like they rented the venue and um set up like tables and you get 
bottle service still like it was it was it was lit it was raining oh my god and then parking was horrible that was the other the other thing it was like so i'm gonna use my concealer now so we're gonna do the concealing <clears throat> hourglass and flats is Come on. She won't. She won't. She won't do it. Um, <laughs> Flax is the shade. We're going to conceal. Oh, you know what? This, this concealer is very much given. Same color. So I'm going to use my... What is this? What is the name of this brand? Is it Stay Naked? I know this brand. What is it? Is it Stay Naked? What is it? Is it Urban Decay? I feel like it's Urban Decay. Stay Naked. I think it's Urban Decay. <laughs> but Stay Naked color, um, Correcting Concealer in 40 NY. That is my highlight shade. I really like her for highlight, so um and guys I know it look this is not natural, this is not a natural look. This is my natural look, okay. <laughs> Still giving like I don't wanna wear much makeup, but I'm here to have makeup. But yeah, like the party lit i didn't get home until like 5 a.m this morning so um, yeah it was lit and then now we're gonna use in here the hourglass because she kind of Oh, it's the same tone. Like she can get rid of that those dark spots. I hate them. No. I mean, it's my face, I know, but I don't have to like it, okay? Okay, I don't have to like it, so I don't like it. Um, we're gonna go in with Anastasia and Color Walnut for our low light, our contour. Um, do her here, do her here. And right here, just a little on the forehead, the nose, um, the one right here. I'm gonna get rid of that third chin. Literally, I got three chins. They ain't pretty. They ain't pretty, man. And I'm gonna do. We're gonna set. We're gonna do spray with our Morphe setting spray. Let's mm. do something else. We're gonna blend. Oh, that's what I was gonna do for now. Where is it? Where is she? She was right here. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. This is a kind of a concealer stick brush. Maybe not, because she's gonna take it off your makeup. 
I should have added it before. I wanted to do the blush. We'll do that another day. We'll do that another day. Okay. So we'll try that one. I always wanted to try where I put the blush before, um, before I put on any foundation. So we'll try that technique another day. There are some other techniques that I want to try that I've seen where using a blush for like contouring the face instead of like using darker a darker tone so that's that will be exciting to try so i'm gonna try that technique um yeah so i'm just gonna, I'm gonna speed through this again and, and we'll be right back You do, I'm in power. You give me your superpower. Together, the world could be ours. Hey, you can be a sun and chance. <laughs> Yo, I know that song. A lot of people are making babies to that song because that song be hitting. <laughs> that song be hitting. All right, so I'm going in with Banana Bread by Huda Beauty um, setting powder. We're gonna set the face. And we'll go in. I really hope that my fan is not really picking up in the background because if it does, that sucks. I really don't want my audio to be bad, but it's a little hot in here. And I don't, I mean, it's snowing out and I don't want to turn the heater down because it messes up the whole house when I turn the heater down a bit. So I don't want to leave it that way, but my lights give off heat as well. So yeah, all right, I have my, I have the fan down on low just to keep some cool air circling but you know fans be kind of loud sometimes so let's have that mm -hmm. I like to use the brush first to get the powder set in and then I, I go in with a wet sponge to kind of bake this area just so you can have a little more defined um, highlight I'm going to set my brows too with the powder. This is a new con technique I, uh, I love doing. I find it um, setting your brows as well keeps your brow makeup lasting longer than um, using it, leaving it that way. Or you can use brow gel. That sets too. That's a good way. And I'm just gonna set my 
um, under eye. And make sure like whenever you're putting on powder, before you put powder on, make sure everything is blended out. There's, you're not seeing any creases of sorts because that's when if you put powder on those crease, that's it for your makeup look. It's gonna be looking cakey and just looking, just looking terrible, you know? And we don't want that. We need that. We ain't trying to look like that, you know? Want everything to blend out. You want it to look like your, your actual face. When people see you wearing makeup, they're not like, oh, she's wearing makeup. You want people to be like, ooh, are you wearing makeup? Yeah. <laughs> For me, in that case, no. Because definitely, you don't know. It's just obvious. So. But that is, that is the, um, what do you call it? The target I'm going for. For people who be questioning me, questioning if I'm wearing makeup or not. What? So we're gonna use Fenty Beauty um, powder in the shade. My shade is 280. And I did her shade. I bought this, like honestly, like a year ago. I've had this powder um, and I just went online and they did, I did a, what do you call it? A shade check online. They have an, op an option where you can see what your actual shade is. So that's really helpful. So definitely if you're not sure for bad makeup online, or you're not sure what your actual shade is, um, that's available now too on their website. So we're Nice and poop, but all of that. Oh. Oh. My nose is dirty. <laughs> and that's so normal for me. Leave in the comments. Do you guys experience that? Where your, your nose will just get runny when you're applying your makeup? Isn't that weird? I wonder if I'm allergic to like, a certain product or ingredient in the product. I caused that. It could be. So we're gonna contour. And we're just gonna use a straight brush. Again, all my brushes, Amazon. Amazon, cheap, inexpensive, and they get the job done. They'll really be doing. And they last, like, they don't last ex as long as, you know, those expensive brushes, but they did their time. They did their time for the money. Like, I feel like it's well worth it for the price you're paying. Oh, absolutely. Is it 3.59? All right, I literally have like a half an hour to get dressed. To finish up and get dressed. I wanna see that. Going in with Trip for Two by Wonder, and we're gonna do blush. Wonder Beauty. Oh. 
I look like I have a cold. Blend. And I'm using the same Anastasia um, bronzer for my nose contour. And I'm going to use her for a little bit of shadow on my, on my eyes. Um, just to add some, a little bit of warmth. To my eyes. So I'm just gonna get her. Mm, so I know. I'm just gonna use this brush, kind of blend everything on oh my eyes, honestly. Oh God! Damn those! I'm gonna put on some mascara, and I'm using Mega um, Plush Volume. This is by Maybelline. I've had this a while now, so. Yeah, she's old. And then we're gonna put on highlighter. I'll put the highlighter on because I don't think I can do it with people you guys watching me. So, okay, so lashes is on and liner. Oh, I hate the red blue though. So the liner, they it wasn't <laughs> there weren't twins, but I mean you can't really tell that they're twins. Damn, I think I'm really going. I'm having a cold or something. I hope it's not you know who, because I went out last time. That's the thing, you guys. We get so paranoid. I get paranoid now. Like when I go out, I'm like. Cause I was out last night, I was like, damn, I really should be staying home and not do anything because, you know, Corona is still here and she's still very much relevant. I think I'm gonna do a pop of color. Under the eye, I'm gonna do a little bit of pink. I think I'm going for, ah, ah, no, that cannot sharpen it. Um, I used to have a sh um, eyebrow pencil, but sharpener, but I don't know where it is. I'm gonna use this Illuminous Illuminating um, pencil, and it's electric pink. I got this in my boxy charm, so I'm gonna put it under my eyes. Hopefully, it needs sharpening, honestly. Well, hopefully. Just to finish with that eye look. 
and yeah honestly to make it more of a natural look just um, get a less dramatic lash and I feel like it will look a lot more natural but as you can tell like I still think it this is a really easy quick makeup look you know I kind of dragged it out a little bit uh, but I think it did its thing um yeah I'm gonna, do, where's my, I'm gonna use a little bit of of the setting powder and do my nose here. Just that one spot. I'm just free touching. Okay, so oh, I'm gonna turn my flat iron. I'm very much doing the very first. Let's get you guys out a little bit. So, I'm gonna do a little straight center. I don't think I've ever gotten this hair um, a center part in this wig, so. It's not super, um, what you call it, straight part, but it will do. Been right, Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going in with this dark brown pencil because I didn't want burgundy. This is Revlon Matte um, Lip, and this is 645 HD Forever, I think that's what it's called. So, for my scent, we're going in Machino. I think I pronounced that right, Machino. Fresh gold. This is this is a really like it's inexpensive, but it smells so good and it's long lasting. I was going to, but I changed my mind. <clears throat> and then we're Come going in. Dior Savage. Get okay, okay. Hello. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
that I'm recording. Please, okay, please, I'm recording. Make over, and then I feel. I say, you can't do all your own. We can't do people makeup. Wow, they're just doing the work. Thanks, you all. I wish I had a base, man. I could set it up. So, I don't forget that. I went in with your Savage. Um, this is a male cologne, but mm, anytime I wear this, I don't smell myself. Like some when I have the cologne on, I don't smell it, but people be smell it. So. So guys, that's the finished look. Um, topped off with some jewelry. I got those these rings from Fashion Nova. My watch, JBW as always. And then Fashion Nova on the necklace. This is it says Scorpio because you know the girl's a Scorpio. So yeah, so this is the finished beat. Um, dress also Fashion Nova. It's a turtleneck um knee length. And I'll probably insert a picture, I'll try at the end for the full look. Um, so yeah, this is the finished look. Tell me guys what you think down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Also go ahead and share this video. Um, follow me on my socials at I underscore am Janine Graham. Just probably see a pic on there on this look. Maybe, I'm gonna try. You go get me a picture. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye.